guys, what's up? It's Nick White, and I'm currently in Austin, Texas, the place that I'll be living for the next three months. If you guys have followed my channel, I've moved from city to city to city to city. Every few months, I'm moving to a different city. But Austin, I actually like so much so far that I'm planning on staying here, potentially. So yeah, I'm waiting for my whole setup to arrive, desk and chair, it's not coming till tomorrow, but I figured in the meantime, I'd make a video talking about ways you can avoid wasting time when learning to code. And this happens to a lot of developers, including myself. When you first start learning to code, you don't really understand how you should approach learning new things. It's kind of something that you learn over time. It's actually a skill to learn in itself. And uh, I just wanna give you guys some tips so you can kind of avoid making some of the mistakes that I used to make. But before we get into the rest of the video, I need to mention a long-term partner of the channel, Pluralsight, is hosting a big event tomorrow. It's an annual event they host. It's called Tech Skills Day. Tech Skills Day is an annual event that Pluralsight hosts where they have keynote speakers and experts talking about tech skills, and they just want to bring the global tech community together in the spirit of learning. And at the end, they're even going to host a virtual after party where you guys can connect and communicate with other developers. So if you want to save it, go into the description of this video, click the link, or just put it in your calendar. Go check it out. I think it'll be pretty fun. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, so if you want to stop wasting time learning the code, there's a few things that you should do. The first thing you need to do is start with the fundamental information. Like for example, if you went to college and you tried to learn calculus, but you never took any high school math like algebra, geometry, or trigonometry, it might be pretty difficult. It's actually probably going to be impossible to learn calculus. Well, in programming, it's kind of the same way where there's fundamental information you need to know before you jump into more advanced things. So that's a big mistake a lot of people make in college College, for example, um, you want to be a proactive, you want to impress people. So what you do is you take really advanced classes before you have to. For example, in college, they usually have a curriculum and I was somehow able to take advanced web development before I took web development. So that's just one of the dumb things I did because I thought it, I would be cool maybe, I don't know, but it was more difficult than it needed to be. And I probably would have had an easier time understanding advanced web development if I just took web development first. And I think that's a big reason people struggle with learning is because they're learning something more advanced than they should be. So if you're not understanding something, question whether you're getting ahead of yourself, whether you're being impatient and you're trying to learn something more advanced than you should be. And maybe take a step back and think, hey, do I have all of the prerequisite knowledge to actually be understanding what's going on here? You wanna understand what you're learning and you wanna retain that information. So that's my number one tip right there is um, don't get ahead of yourself and make sure you understand prerequisite material. Another tip for not wasting time learning the code is uh, when concepts are being explained in computer science, especially in textbooks, or but even things online, there's very long explanations for certain libraries or tools that you might have to use and how they actually work to help the software you're building. And one of the things that might happen is you might see words or concepts that you don't understand talking about what you're trying to learn. Um, and in this case, if you don't understand something and it's really going to help you understand what you're trying to learn, you should look these things up and learn those as well. So you know, one of the things they say in programming is that everything involves Googling. Well, even if you're just trying to learn something, I recommend Googling all of the words you don't understand as you read through so that you can really understand and comprehend what you're learning at any given point. So I guess to boil everything down, basically just don't skim over words and half understand what you're learning. Look things up and really make sure you're understanding things. The next tip I'd recommend for not wasting time learning to code is actually write code, like actually build software. In college and online courses or interactive tutorials, they have you do these really small exercises. They have you implement functions or maybe in college they give you a whole file of functions to implement, so some class to implement. But rarely do they have you do real software engineering where you build an entire project from start to finish, like a whole website, and then you put it online. And it took me over a year into college until I got my first internship to realize what actual software engineering is like. And it is very much different than what you learn in school or courses. So it really opened up my mind and made me understand a ton of things way more once I did actual software engineering. So if I were to recommend stop wasting time learning to code, like if you struggle learning to code, I'd recommend building some real world projects because that can help you a lot. And you could do something like just follow tutorials on YouTube as you build a project from start to finish. 
Another tip to stop wasting time on learning the code is make sure you're using a reputable resource. So, you know, don't find something off the 17th page of Google and use that as your main resource for learning the code. You want to use reputable, you know, things that everybody uses to learn to code, right? These things are probably good resources. So make sure there's good reviews or some reviews in general. Don't learn from totally random things. The next one's a little bit more general and obvious, but you should be coding every day. So if you're struggling to learn to code and you're coding once a week, it's because you're forgetting everything you did since the last time you coded. You really need to practice. So imagine you're trying to learn how to skateboard or play basketball. You know, these people that are doing that, they're practicing like nearly every day. So if you're trying to code, what you should do is instead of 10 hours a day for once a week, you should be coding two hours a day. That way it's fresh in your mind every single day and you remember what you did the previous day because in coding you can forget things pretty quickly. There's a lot of information that you have to cover. Another tip is learn one thing at a time. I knew a bunch of people in college that tried to do a million things at once, including myself at one point, um, but some people go crazy when you know, you try and do blockchain programming with distributed systems, with web development all at the same time, and you're working on a bunch of different projects on the same time. It's super excessive, and people probably just think you're crazy. So, you know, it might seem cool to take on a million things at once at the time, but it is super counterproductive in the long term. What you need to do is focus on one thing and get good at it, because that's what's going to lead to success, whether it's starting a company or getting a job. Figure out one thing that you like doing in programming, get really good at it. That's gonna be your most successful thing. So, And then the very last thing I'd recommend if you're really struggling learning to code, like I remember I did have times where I'm just, you know, stressing myself out a lot because I can't understand something. So in those cases, uh, if you're sitting at your computer for 30 minutes to an hour and you're making no progress, close your computer, do something else, get up, walk away, go for a run, eat some food, watch a movie, do something, do something else because your mind is not in the right state to be accomplishing anything. If, you, if you're just going for an hour straight, not accomplishing the second hour, you're not just gonna magically figure it out. So relax yourself. There's no reason to stress yourself out, which I used to do all the time. I figured push yourself, push yourself and you'll eventually get there. But uh, at some points, there's no need to do that. You don't need to push yourself all the time. You need to relax. Actually relaxing can help you uh, refresh your mind, get, an, get into a new fresh mind state, and then you might come back to the problem uh, or what you're trying to learn and understand it immediately. So that's like one of the major things I'd recommend too. So that's mainly all my tips. You know, if you guys are struggling, it's only natural. I struggled a lot when I was first learning. And it's kind of just something that you have to get used to and learn over time the best way for you to learn new things. So um, that's pretty much for this video. I'm in Austin, Texas, guys. Uh, a couple of you guys messaged me on LinkedIn or Discord and I, I was down to hang out. I got co coffee with some people. I only know a few people here. I have a few friends so far. So if you live in Austin, Texas, feel free to message me. We can get some coffee. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like the video. I appreciate the support. Oh, as always, and uh, check out the plural site, Tech Skills Day, tomorrow, linked in the description, 1 p.m., April 21st. Really going to be fun. See you guys there. Peace.